So today I recommend we work on contacts, this contacts page right here, uh, because last the last lesson we worked on suppliers and that is great. So I'd like to recommend you subscribe if you've not subscribed and also like also like my video and share it. If you have challenges, do let me know. So if I go to contacts, uh, you have this page. The reason is because the template provided this contact page, but this is not what we want. We use this page uh, for some other reason. So let's go to work on contacts. So if you go to the templates, you find out that there are two pages, maybe, okay, you have this contact and you have this contact, okay? So, uh, so, if, if, if we, the, the upper case and the lower case. So this upper case tend to be the one we are working with and the lower case is the one that is provided by by the, yeah. So this upper case contact, I think this is the one we are gonna be working with. Anyway, let's start with the with the, with the controller and service. So let's go to the, to the service. Meanwhile, uh, we have gone, it come a long way. So I think we almost round it off. So let's go to the service. I'm going to go to service. Now service, I'm going to use a client service to create the contact service. So I'm going to just go to client service and just, I'm just going to copy everything there and just copy to contact service and I'm going to be changing up things. So the first thing I'm going to do, change client to contact, change client to contact control F, find all and replace all here and change client to con contact lowercase this time I'm going to just replace okay good so the service is done I'm going to close 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 and then let's work on the controller at this time so I'm gonna go to client controller contact controller with client controller I'm gonna copy everything across I think since contact is, is a person, we also need to send the, the country and the state across. So contact uh, will re, re, it kind of will resemble clients. So I'm going to, sorry, uh, what am I doing? So this I'm going to select and I'm going to paste. Okay. So change client to contact, control F, change client to contact replace all and do the same thing for the lower case the same thing for the lower case clients uh, contacts uh, I'm gonna replace all all right so if you look at this place you can see that it's returning contact uppercase so uh, and go to slash contacts is going to return contacts which is uppercase, which is okay. All right, so um, let's now go to work on the HTML page. So I'm gonna close everything. I'm just gonna, just gonna check everything is fine. This is contact controller. Uh, everything should be fine at now. So let's work on the HTML page. I'm gonna go to sources, templates, and I'm going to locate contact. So as you know, we, we scroll down to the page so you can see the main content and this is where we are going to be working. So you always need to look for page start and page ends. Page start and page end and that is where you are going to put the code you are going to copy or you are going to type. So again, you can actually copy this code from any other place where you have the page start and page end, copy what is in between and put it right here. Me, I already did it and I already modified it for the contact. So I'm going to just uh, take it from where I have it and just paste it right there. So, so let's see, I'm gonna just uh, take it from where I have it and paste it right here, good. All right, so we have this and the next thing I want to do now is to copy the models across. The edit model, the add model, the details model and the the delete model. Uh, for now, I think I have add, edit, and delete. So that is what I'm going to copy across and paste. So let me just get them from where they are and just paste them there. So the first one I'm going to copy and paste is the 
the add model so go down just before the last javascript i'm gonna just paste the the add model form that is fine and uh the next one should be the edit so again i'm going to paste it as well so the edit model i'm going to paste it just after the add model and finally the delete model i'm going to paste it after the edit model so i, I would like to say without having to break anything try to work on the details model the details model is exactly the same as the edit model but the fields are simply going to be read only and there will be no submit button in the details model now i've put in everything and finally i'm going to go down to check that the script is there so i'm going to say script script src equals uh j slash create uh, slash dot slash con contact dot js and i'm gonna just close okay so finally let's do the script let's create the script so i'm going to go into the js and i'm going to copy uh, maybe copy country and use it to create the contact so i'm going to copy country and then right click and say paste and then i'll change it to contacts contacts js okay save okay uh, so let's now open the contact.js and we are going to replace using the model uh, for contact you can just replace uh, what we have here so me I already did it so I'm going to just paste it from my clipboard so a contact has contact is simply like a phone book email first name ID last name mobile phone and remarks that was just basic thing you can boost it up by adding a few things now this We'll talk about it a little later. For now, we don't have to worry about this. All right, so I think we are good to go. Um, go to the controller. So we expect to go to slash contacts and we get to... So let me just run it and let's see. I think I should run... Yeah, so I, I launched the application and let's see. So let me just try to show you something. If if I go back to the home page, if I go back to the home page, uh, this application, okay, so it's still restarting. Let's see. Okay. So coming up. Okay, so it started now. So so this is the home page of our application. And if I go to so people and go to contact so it's pointing to contact and if i click uh let's see so it takes us here which is not supposed to be where it should be so what we are going to do we are going to go back to the template folder and simply take out uh one of these contacts so we are going to take out one of these so um so what i'm going to simply do I think we worked on the one with uppercase so the lowercase contacts let's see let's just let's open it and see what is inside but meanwhile let me create a folder where i will put unnecessary pages i have here because there are a whole lot of unnecessary pages so let me call this folder assets so all these pages many of the pages that we don't need uh i'll simply move them into assets for instance, this 404 page, this basic table, this blank, this buttons, this chart, some things we don't need is going to find themselves ending up here. Okay, so I'm going to move out this. Before I move it, let's open it to see. Okay, so this is the one that talks about send us a message. So let's take it out from here. So take it out into assets. And that way the template engine is not going to see it because uh, the, 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 the controller is going to solve what is inside the template folder without going to check inside the assets folder. So we are going to restart this application. So restart.
let's get back to check. So I'm going to refresh this page at this point, refresh. So I think the server is still starting. So contact says error resolving contact template might not exist. Uh, contact, let's see. Oh, there's a typo in the file name. So I'm going to simply um, rename it correctly. So I'll go to refactor, uh, right click and look for refactor and rename. So it's contact, contact. So it could actually be uppercase or lowercase, contact of HTML. Okay. All right, so let me rerun the application again, and then we are going to test. So hopefully it's going to be fine. And um, if that is the case, we are now going to move on to something else. Right, so I'm going to refresh this page at this point. Uh, let's see, the server is coming up. Um, it's taking some time, I don't know why. It should be, it should be. Okay, so I think it started off at this point. Uh, so let's get back here. I'm going to refresh the page. So I can actually add a new contact. So this, I'm going to just add new contact, da, 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 da. Remarks, nice person, kind son. Let me say saffron. All right, so da, da, da. Is this and save? All right, so we have a contact added now. So at this point, I'm going to thank you for viewing. And the next thing we are going to do, because this user here, we are going to work on it when we are we're going to be working on Spring Security. So we are going to be going over to, we already have all this, we're going to be going to maintenance, movement, and hires. After which, we now go to vehicle data and then go to employee because this is really going to be so interesting. Let me just show you how the employee looks like because it's something I really, I really like uh, talking about. Um, so this is a complete application. The, the application I already completed. So let me show you. Uh, I think it should be here. Okay. So if I go to people or go to employee, so this is how the oh this is a login. Okay. We are going to be doing this. Don't worry about it. So this is the employee page. So you have. Uh, the images coming up and also if you go to vehicle data you also have vehicles you can select them you can edit and you can upload the image of the vehicles all right so i'd like to thank you for viewing subscribe if you've not subscribed and if you are joining for the first time please go and start from the beginning and if you have any challenges whatsoever please let me know so we we'll see you in the next class